Here's a new problem that's uh, come up with some Lorex DVRs, and I'll show you the symptom, and uh, we'll talk about what's getting into these things, because um, hmm, this one's uh, kind of suspicious. Today I noticed something is broken. My security system is down. Hmm. Three cameras are down on this screen. I wonder how the other four cameras are doing. Let's check them out. Houston, we most certainly have a problem here as uh, six of the eight cameras are not giving me a picture today. Hmm, I wonder what that might be. I'm thinking a power supply for the cameras. This thing already had the power supply blow up for the uh, DVR once, but this time I'm only getting a picture on some of the cameras. Hmm, well it could be the power supply again on the DVR, or it could be the camera power supply. I guess the first thing to do is I'll try power cycling the DVR and see whether that brings things back. Notice the nice burn in on my <laughs> CRT screen there, right? That's tough to do, but I've managed to do it. So I guess the first order of business is I will uh, power cycle the DVR. So now we just wait to see whether it actually boots up. As you can see, I've got some lovely burn in on that CRT. I'm proud of that. Took a long time to burn that image in. Hmm. Not looking good. We'll see whether it starts up, whether it restores the picture. Then we'll start replacing power supplies one at a time. It's one of two. The fact that one of the cameras though is not powered by the same power supply and it wasn't working it might be the DVR that's at fault. Oh, it looks like everything's come up now. There I am. Hello everybody. <laughs> that's my, uh, my shop um, camera I have one in the in the workshop here okay it looks like that's all that I had to do with just power cycle that's weird that that happened it must have had a power bump or something because power cycling as you can see seems to have uh, restored the problem and it's back to normal so I don't know if this is a, a sign of trouble to come whether it was just a one-off or whether this power supply is starting to to fail on this one but I'll keep an eye on it but there you go if you have some weird things happening sometimes just power cycling can resolve the problem but I think maybe maybe the power supply maybe this is the second power supply that's starting to crap out on this well as we can see my cameras have gone down again or at least two of the inputs have gone down so I'm thinking we must have a bad power supply so I'm going to swap the power supply and see whether I get a picture and see whether that is the problem so there it's booting up we should see all the cameras come up momentarily here. Looks like I've got all the cameras running again. We'll try this and see if this one is going to work any better. If it's dead in the morning again, then I'll know that we still have a problem. But I'm going to pull this power supply apart. We'll take a look at the capacitors in it. So here's the power supply. And these are usually the ones that go bad. Tops are not bulging on them. I wonder how the ESR is on these. I guess we can always test them and see how they're looking. Pull the two caps out. 0 0.02, so that's not bad. 0 0.01. Make sure my meter's zeroed. Yeah, I mean. These two caps don't appear to be bad. 1000 microfarad 25 volts, but I guess time will tell whether the, the problem is resolved. It might be the power supply or we may have another problem. There's also a second power supply that powers up uh, seven of the eight cameras are powered up by a second power supply. The eighth camera, which is a wireless camera, has its own power supply. But uh, I guess time will tell whether it goes out again. If it does, I'll have to investigate. But 
new power supply on there now. Cat is not happy. Well, I didn't expect to see this. Here we are again the next morning. It's exactly the same. New power supply on this unit. And um, it's still doing the same thing. Now, one thing I noticed, or I didn't notice, my son noticed it. He phoned me when I was at work. And he noticed that the camera has, had a message that says, an update is available. Do you want to accept the update? He phoned me about it. And he said, should I take the update? And I said, no. Turn it off. Turn it back on. So he rebooted it and it came back with all the cameras working again. By the time I got home from work, it was back down to this. So I was thinking, hmm, maybe someone's trying to get in and, and uh, infect the DVR and they're causing it to crash and trying to trick me into taking an update because Lorex does not push updates over the internet. Updates are actually sent out by a downloadable file that you put onto a USB stick and plug it in to the DVR to take updates. That was my first clue. So I went into the menu and I did a factory reset, reset everything to factory settings. And then I went in and I changed the administrator password. Now I had changed my password. I wasn't using the default 000000 or whatever it was. I had changed it. So I went in and I changed it again. I made it even a much more difficult password to remember. And uh, since then, I haven't had any problems. Now this video, I shot this about two months ago. So um, it's been running fine. This the actual footage here was shot back in uh, July and it's now middle of September. So I think it's pretty safe to say that there was some hackers out there that were trying to break into my system and they were causing it to uh, go into an oddball mode and then they would put a message up on the screen saying take the update don't take the update if you get a failure like this do a factory reset and change your administrator password and it should fix your problem thanks for watching